On the court, all stars make assists look easy. Behind the back, no look or off the backboard, they're dropping dimes nonstop. That's how we feel about coverage and savings. Combine your home and auto with State Farm and start your own assist highlight reel. After all, even all-stars need an assist. Call agent Paul Darling for help combining your home and auto and enjoy the savings. Dial 219-884-6947 or visit www.pauldarning.com. That's P-A-U-L-D-A-W-N-I-N-G.com. Good afternoon, good afternoon, and welcome to the 800 Credit Score Man Show. I am your host, Kevin King. He is I, and I am him, the 800 Credit Score Man himself. And again, thank each and every one of you for coming in and listening to the 800 Credit Score Man Show. I truly, truly appreciate it. So what are we going to talk about today? Today, we are going to talk about why you have been denied credit. What are all the reasons that you have been denied credit if you've ever filled out an application somewhere and it came back denied? What is the reason you were denied? And then we're going to talk about um, what you can do about it as well. Also, we're, something else, a old practice has reared its ugly head. Yet again, people uh, must think that we forgot that our uh, memories are very short. And so this practice has come back again. We're going to delve into that a little bit today. And I'm going to warn you to stay away from this. You may think it's a benefit for you, but most likely it's not in the long run. So we're going to talk about those things today. And of course, we have a question of the day as well that's going to come out of Nebraska to a uh, brand new listener to the show. So we're going to do that today um, as well on the 800 Credit Score Man Show. So let me throw this one out here right quick before I get the shout outs and all that stuff. Um, why have you been denied? So the, the title of this show is most likely going to be um, why was I denied credit? And so there are several reasons. There are several reasons why you've been denied or have been denied or could be denied. And uh, usually it's a combination of reasons. Usually it's not just one thing. It's not just because you don't make enough money or whatever it is. It's not just one thing typically. It's going to be a list of several things. And I'm going to give you um, some of those reasons today. So I'm going to throw this first one out here. And uh, it's probably something that you know, or well, maybe you never even thought about it. Um, and it may be one of the ones that may not apply to most people. And then we'll jump into the rest of them. So the first one I'm going to mention is that you have a short time at your residence. So some people are very transient. You know, they just are. You know, they move. And on their credit report, they have 20 different um, addresses on their credit report. That could be a reason that you have been denied. Now, it's not always if you have a short residence because, of course, if you go and you get a new home, you know, you have a new mortgage and now you're out trying to buy appliances for it or whatever it is you want to do, um, you have a short residence stint. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you'll be denied. This is one of the ones where you will have a combination of things if you're denied. And, of course, oftentimes if you have just closed on a new home, you know, your credit was good enough to get a home, so it ought to be good enough for you to get that new stove that you need or that new refrigerator or whatever it is. So it's not always uh, something that is the main reason that you're denied. That's absolutely something that, in my opinion, they just throw on there. They want to pile it on. They want to put as many reasons as possible um, to deny you on there, and this will be one of them. So that's just one of the reasons that you could be denied. Let me throw another one out, too, right now, because it's not um, that heavily used as well and that is um you have a short time on your job now it's possible that they would do that if you have put in your application you've been on the job for two months you know it's not necessarily a high paying job or something of that nature your credit score may be iffy or what have you it's a possibility that they would place that as a reason for you being denied credit as well but that doesn't mean just because you got a new job or just because you just moved somewhere um, doesn't mean that you shouldn't go applying for things if you need something and uh, you deem that is worthy uh, for you to get it and you have other um, possible Po um, positive things on your credit report and a positive credit score it doesn't mean that you shouldn't do those but those are a couple of reasons why um or it's a couple of reasons that could be listed on your denial letter if they deny you for credit so let me jump into a couple shout outs i gotta get these out it's a heavy heavy shout out 
um, day to day, you guys. So please bear with me. I want to shout this one out because I missed it last week. Vicky Bonds. Vicky Bonds celebrated her birthday. I should have shouted her out last week on last week's show. So happy belated birthday to you, Vicky Bonds. I hope it was a great one. I hope you're still celebrating, actually. So happy birthday to you, Vicky Bonds. I got to give a shout out to Shelby Bible. She celebrates an eight birthday yes eight one two three four five six seven eight so happy birthday to you shelby and then i gotta give myself a shout out you guys so my birthday was actually on the 12th and yes the show must go on even though it's my birthday weekend and the turn up is real um my birthday was thursday so uh happy birthday to me the 800 credit score man my cousin toya today says hey you should have yolanda that's my wife, you guys. Come on the show and give you a shout out so I can get a shout out. So, um, uh, and several people said, hey, are you going to shout yourself out um, on the show? So I'm doing that. So happy birthday to me. Um, and so thank you guys for all of the well wishes and happy birthdays and uh, prayers and all of those things. I truly appreciate it. And I want to throw this one out. You know, this is a proud papa moment as well. Um, so at the end of the show, you hear about Kobe, Cameron and Carter at the end of every show. Um, so on yesterday, um, went to a banquet for journalism. My son, Kobe is a journalism. Um, I think that's actually not his main major, but his, uh, his other major, his minor. And, um, so he was to receive an award, went to the banquet. Kobe was surprised to be called for a different award than he was told about. So he not only received one award, not two awards, but three awards in journalism, a budding sports journalism in itself. So, Kobe, I couldn't be prouder um, of you than uh, I was last night. So uh, thank you for always being a good kid. All right. So let's jump into uh, some more reasons that um, you may have been denied. And like I said before, there are several reasons that they list on that denial letter that they send you when they say, hey, we couldn't grant you credit. They're going to list several things. You know, it might be three. It might be five. It might be eight reasons that they that they mention. Now, personally, personally, I believe that they mentioned those things to see why, you know, they're making sure if you want to come back and challenge this at all, that there are several reasons for you being denied. If you list a bunch of reasons, then most people just throw their hands up and say, all right, forget about it. I'll move on. I can't get credit or what have you. So that's why I think that they actually list so many um, reasons for denying you. So we already said that, you know, you can have a short time at your residence or short time at your, at your job. Let's jump to a short credit history. So, yes, absolutely, you can be denied simply because you have a short credit history. If you opened up your first account four or five months ago, and that's the only account that you have, one, your credit score is most likely going to be lower. And then um, they don't know what you're going to do with this. I mean, you have a short time to um, judge you. And if you don't think that they're judging you, that's what it absolutely is. They're evaluating your risk, which is another way of judging you and your credit worthiness. And they're not sure how you're going to act when it comes to your credit. Maybe you're responsible, maybe you're not responsible. So if you have a short credit history, yes, that can be an impediment to you to actually getting credit. Another reason that they may deny you, and this is a big one as far as I'm concerned, is charge-offs. If you have a charge-off on your credit report, now a charge-off um, not only comes when it deals with your credit cards, but you can have a personal loan as well that has been charged off. If you don't know what a charge-off is, a charge-off is when... A company that you didn't pay, they decide to go ahead and write your loan off. Doesn't mean that they won't sell it to a collection agency so an agency can try to collect that money from you, but they have decided to go ahead and write that particular loan off or that credit card off. And on your credit report, it'll list charge off. It'll absolutely say it just like that on your credit report. And so that could be a reason that you've been denied. And then if Oftentimes, if you're going to a big box store or any place, you got Lord and Taylor's or Neiman Marcus or Dillard's or um, even like a Target or Kohl's or what have you. If you have a charge off from a company like that and you're trying to get another credit card or get credit 
from a similar type of company, then they're going to look at that and say, well, they didn't play Target. So what makes me, JCPenney's, for example, think that they're actually going to pay us as well? So they may take that and use it as a bigger factor. So again, they try to go ahead and, and look at all of the factors that a reason to approve you or a reason to deny you. So if they're trying to find a reason to deny you, they're absolutely going to list the fact that you have charge offs on your credit report. Um, yet another reason that you can be that you can be denied is late payments. So we've talked in ad nauseum about being late for things that appear on your credit report. Do not be 30 days late. I don't want to tell anybody to skip your your due date at all because if you skip your due date, one is just going to cost you more money because they're going to you know they're going to give you um, a late charge for skipping your due date or being past your due date. They're going to give you the late charge. Then oftentimes you'll have issues with them. So if you skip that, you got the late charge. Um, if you're close to what your limit is, it could put you over the limit. There's so many things that go in, go into being late. So if you have a recent late payment. They're absolutely going to list that as a reason to deny you credit. So you don't want to be late, but never be 30 days late and never try to push the envelope and push it to 29 days and then make that payment. And a lot of people, what they will do is here's where they make a mistake. If they go ahead and they, they are late and they say, well, you know, I'm going to pay it next time or what have you. And then they look at their credit card bill and they see that minimum and that's what they pay. They pay the minimum. Well, basically, you skip the payment. So you're still technically you're 30 days late. Even if you make it, you skip the payment. Think about it like this. Instead of in terms of a credit card, think about it like this. If you have a car note and say you missed that car note and then now you're like, oh, I'm paying it the next month and you only pay the one car note the next month, you are one car note um, behind. So you are still 30 days late and it'll continue to pile up on your credit report. So if you got that late payment like that, then it'll say 30 days late um, in your credit report. If you look at it, it'll say how many times late. And then there is a number or zero, a slash, you know, and then another number or zero, a slash and then another number. So that represents 30 days late, 60 days late and 90 days late. And so if you've been 30 days late three times, it'll say three slash zero zero. You haven't been, you know, 60 days late or 90 days late. So that's how it appears on your credit report. You can always find that in the account section. So if you look at the account and it says X, Y, Z, you know, auto finance. Um, if you look down and to the right, it'll tell you exactly how many times you've been 30 days late or 60 days late or 90 days late. And sometimes it's even more than that if you've been um, late. So you can take a look at those things. So that's one of the things that you absolutely don't want to do. That's not playing catch up. You are still 30 days behind on making that payment. So never be 30 days late to anything that especially shows up on your credit report. And you should know what those things are by now. You've got your mortgage that's going to show up on your credit report. You have credit cards, you have personal loans, student loans, of course, automobiles. All of those kinds of things show up on your credit report on a monthly basis. And that's what your score is based off of as well. So make sure you're not 30 days late. That's an absolute um, reason that they'll put on your credit on your denial letter that you have been uh, 30 days late or even more as a reason to deny you for credit another reason that you can be denied for credit i think we're probably up to reason number five or number six is uh recent collections so if you have a recent collection on absolute or actually not even just recent if you have a collection period they can put that on there as a reason to deny you credit so if you've got collections doesn't mean that you shouldn't apply for things because just because you have a collection doesn't mean that you don't have a 700 score you can have a 700 score with a collection it could be really old um it could be really small although the the um the amount that you owe doesn't matter if you have uh just looking at something um this week somebody put out a um a, a thing on facebook that said you know a 38 dollar collection or a 38 thousand dollar collection doesn't matter it's still going to hurt your credit by the same number of points. So if you have um, a collection on your credit report, they're absolutely going to use that against you 
so they can go ahead and um, deny you credit as well. All right, so let me jump, let me pause right here on the reasons that you've been denied um, credit. And then we're going to, of course, on the other side of uh, the question of the day, we're going to go ahead and talk about the rest of the reasons as well as tell you what to do about it um, if you've been denied too. So let me throw out another shout out before I get to the question of the day. So let me shout out, um, let me shout out uh, Kiara Bradley. She celebrated her birthday earlier this week. So happy birthday to you, Kiara. Um, also, I got to shout out Hazel Bacon. Hazel Bacon and I share a birthday. Her birthday was on the 12th. So happy birthday to you, Hazel, a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Happy birthday to you, Beth Crawford. Her and I also 